Can we praise him tonight? Can we give God some praise? Hallelujah. Glory to God. tuned to Hope Covenant Kingdom Fellowship Family of Churches Hour of Empowerment. We come to you each and every Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time via Facebook Live. I am Bishop Michael Body. We are perfecting excellence in ministry and we're so happy to have you to share with us on tonight, God is moving by His Spirit. God is a good God. And so we offer praise for His goodness, His mercy, His favor. We invite you to stay tuned for our hour of Bible teaching. And while you are waiting, you have time to like, to tag, and to share this worship experience. In the background, Rodney Bryant and the Christian
Common Mass Choir. We offer praise. Can we give him one tonight? Can we give him one? Give him some praise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise his name. He's worthy of all the praise. Hallelujah. 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 Let us bow our heads for a word. Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Gracious Father, we come not begging, not grumbling, not com nor do we complain, but we come just to say thank you. You've been good to us. Master, you have kept us from the earliest of our existence up until this present moment. And for that cause, we give you praise. We give you the honor. We lift you up. Father, we thank you for keeping us, for watching over us, for protecting us, for shielding us. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who you sent that he would die and get up from the grave with all power in his hand that we might have life and that we might have it more abundant. So on tonight, we lift up holy hands to thank you for all the many blessings, for the goodness, for the mercy toward us. And as we come, we come as humble as we know how, as empty vessels before a full fountain of grace. We come as disobedient children would come before a good parent. Just waiting to be filled with your mercy and your love, Father. We thank you for everyone that uh, will share with us on the night. We thank you for those wherever there may be, Father, all under the sound of our voice, that you would touch somebody. Father, I know that if you touch right now, you can change things, you can change situations, you can change circumstances. Father, we ask that you would go before us and make easy and successful the way. Father, we just ask that you would hide us behind the cross and use us that you be glorified. 
You said you would not let your word come back void, but accomplish those things that it set out to do. So we lean in, we trust it, and depending on you tonight because we know that you never failed us yet. Now, Father, we ask that you would send your spirit. Father, that you would send down your latter rain tonight. That you would take control. That you would give us a word for your people, Master. That they might be blessed. That they might be healed. That they might be delivered. That they might be set free. Touch in a mighty way. We know that if you touch, Master, you can change things. You can change circumstances and situations. Now, Father, we ask that you hold us in a hollow of thine hand. We know you can be reckless with us. And there's nothing we can do about it. So we surrender ourselves to you, Master. Because you are the Jehovah Jireh, the Jehovah Nisa, the Jehovah Rapha, the Jehovah Elohim. You are the great I am. You are omniscient. You are omnipotent. You are all wise. You are all knowing. So, Father, we give you all the glory, the honor, and, Father, we give you praise. We bind Satan on every hand. We cancel him. Rebuke and come against every one of his assignments. Satan do not have no power. We step on Satan's head tonight. We bind him up. We come against every spirit of negativity, of confusion, of division, of witchcraft, of lack, of poverty, of hatred and envy and prejudice. We come against the war in Israel and Pakistan. We come against the war in Iran and the war in Russia. We know that you rule and separate and super rule, Father. And you can do anything but fail. So, Father, we ask that you take control that you would touch hearts, that you would touch mind, that you would heal, that you would set free and deliver. Father, we thank you for every man and woman of God preaching and teaching your word, that you would continue to hold them in the hollow of your hand. Every church door that's opening your name, and then look on the one that don't even know you in the part of their sin. Touch him right now. We know that only a touch can just change everything, Father. Cover and shield us with the blood of Jesus. Use us. Use us tonight. Use us that you be glorified. You get all the honor, all the glory, and the praise. Just give us the blessings. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Ain't it mighty nice just to give God some praise? And your mercy. God bless you, Bishop Jones. So happy to have you on tonight. Amen. We invite you to share, to tag, to like this hour. Hallelujah. Glory to God. To God be the glory. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on, give him one. Come on, give him one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Glory to God. Glory. Glory, 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 glory. Glory to God. We give him praise because of his goodness, his mercy towards us. We, when we was on our way to hell, Dr. Jones, Bishop Jones, he reached out and rescued me from myself. And I don't know it about you, but when I look up, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. Not only did he save me, but he sanctified me, baptized and filled me with the Holy Ghost and gave me a man to run on. And I don't know about you, but if anybody asks you, what's the matter with me tonight? Just tell them I'm saved and I'm sanctified. And I'm running for my life. Amen. We're so happy uh, to have you to join the Hope Covenant Kingdom Fellowship uh, family of churches, Hour of Empowerment. Again, I'm Bishop Michael Body, and we're sharing with you tonight by uh, via, via, should I say, Facebook Live. And we again ask that you will continue to like, to share, and to tag in this hour. Amen. Amen. We're going to ask that you would turn in your Bibles, that you would go to your Bibles. Amen. The Bible, a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our path. Amen. Uh, we know that Tuesday is a busy day virtually and that there are a lot of ministries a lot of ministries that share on Tuesday evening, on Tuesday night. However, Tuesday, uh, the hour of empowerment is always, amen, broadcast. Amen. This is to broadcast in uh, 2023 is Facebook and YouTube. And so if you don't get it tonight, because we know that a lot of other folk are... Uh, they are uh, worshiping or supporting their ministries. Amen. But God always got somebody. And I am not discouraged. Amen. The Bible teaches us not to be weary and well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Amen. So uh, we're not doing this for entertainment. We're not doing this for validation. We're not are doing this for a platform. We're not doing it. I, I have no face, no, uh, 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 what you call it, uh, cash app or Zelle will be posted. Amen. We just want to feed the people of God. On the night, Ephesians, the book, the book of Ephesians, amen, the uh, epistle to the church at Ephesus, amen, uh, Second chapter, eight and nine verses, eight and nine, eight and nine verses. You will find these words. It said, for by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. And nine says, not of works, lest any man should boast. We want to teach on tonight how we can depend on God and God alone. How we can depend on God and depend on God alone. Uh, my brothers and my sisters, we, in this season, we uh, depend on everything except for God. But he is the author the finisher, the ruler of all things. Yet we uh, yield and depend on so many other different people. Uh, we depend on our finance. We depend on our bank accounts. We depend on the lottery. We depend on the government. We depend on the White House. But I don't know about you, but I depend on what's in, who's in the lighthouse. Amen. So, depending on God, my brothers and sisters, is essential uh, to Christian life. 
those of us that profess to be Christians or Christ-like. We trust or depend on God for our salvation. Amen. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. We depend on God, or should I say I depend on God for our wisdom. I'm not going to read these verses uh, to alleviate time. James 1 and 5. In fact, uh, my brothers and sisters, we depend on God for everything. Amen. Because everything belongs to him. The earth is the Lord. The fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. And everything. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. The psalmist, beloved, teaches the Lord's uh, reliability uh, with the threefold description. Watch this. The Lord is what? My rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. Amen. I don't know about you, but he's my rock. Amen. <laughs> he's my deliverer, and he is my fortress. Psalms, amen, 18 and 2. Depending, depending uh, on God alone, amen, might seem difficult uh, to a lot of us, amen, because a lot of us don't trust God enough. And if you don't trust in God enough, you can't depend on him. So depending alone, it doesn't mean uh, that we're acting foolishly. You know, uh, and I'm going to show you where I'm going here. Jesus did not need to jump off the pinnacle, amen, of the temple to prove, amen, to Satan that he depended on God. Matthew 4, 5 through 7, I give these verses out in order that I don't take up so much time in reading them. There is a difference between trusting God. There's a difference between trusting God and testing God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Depending on God alone does not mean uh, we dispense, amen, we dispense with God's gifts. Amen. Let me give you an example. A person uh, with a sickness may refuse to go to the doctor. Amen. But we don't understand that. Uh, we know that he God, that Jesus has more medicine in his garment. But we have to understand that God had placed these doctors and these physicians and these hospitals uh, and this medication, amen, that if it were not for him, there would be, these people would not exist, amen. And so a lot of time we'll say, uh, I'm going to depend on God alone to lead me or a person that's driving a car. <clears throat> and... Uh, they'll drive the car with their eyes closed. Come on, y'all. And then turn the wheel, steering wheel loose and say, I'm going to depend solely on God mm -hmm. and God alone to drive me home. These actions would be very foolish. Amen. Amen. God has provided us with doctors. God has to, uh, provided us with medicine to help heal us. Amen. He has not only done that, uh, but he has given us the wisdom and knowledge to drive a car. So if you got the wisdom and knowledge why would you close your eyes 
And what you're doing is not depending, but you're tempting God because you said, I know you got me, God. I want to let you know, amen, that we are not to tempt him. We can still depend on God, beloveds. As we visit the doctor, you sitting at home having a heart attack and you saying, well, I'm going to lay, lay, lay hands and heal myself. You having a heart attack, you need to go to the doctor. You having uh, some kind of stroke. You having uh, a, a, a physical situation happen in your body, Apostle Morgan. You need to go get it checked out and trust God on the way that everything is going to be all right. Am I helping somebody tonight? Knowing that all healing ultimately, amen, comes from God. All healing comes from God, amen, and we can still depend on him as we drive our cars with our eyes open, <laughs> knowing that all safety ultimately also comes from God. We depend on God all the time. And there are times that uh, we can do nothing else but depend on him. When you, uh, Let me tell you something. When you can't depend on nobody else, you can't depend on your uh, 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 wife, your husband, you can't depend on your brother and your sister, you can't depend on your children, you can't depend on your church, you can't depend on your pastor. I, I come to serve notice. You can depend on God. Amen. The Lord gives us the faith we need to make it through. I like the way that apostles say uh, in, in end times. Amen. In end times. In other words, in the day that we live in. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego couldn't uh, sway the will of the king. He couldn't change what the king, they couldn't change what the king said, and they could not lessen, amen, the intensity of the burning, fiery furnace. You know, remember that the king uh, was so disturbed until he said, he commanded they would uh, make the fire seven times hotter. They only knew that they could not bow down, amen, to an idol God. They were thrown into a fiery furnace, and a lot of us are thrown into a fiery furnace situation in our lives. Depending on God alone, that's when uh, you have to depend on God alone when uh, 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 there is nobody else. Then that's when you need to lean, trust, and depend on God. I come to tell you, he will surely bring you out. He says, cast your cares upon me. Amen. For he cares for us. And he said it. Uh, that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Here are some practical ways that I want to share for with you, amen, that we can depend on God alone. Some people just think I can't do it, but what about my mortgage? But what about my rent? What about my condo? I got a condo and I trusted God that he would give me the car, but I don't have enough faith in God that God will pay for it. Amen. First of all, we have to pray. Amen. When you pray, that gives you power to depend on God and God alone. Why? Because praying is among other things an acknowledgement of God's power, his promises, 
and his provisions. I like them three. His what? His power, his promises, his provisions. So when you pray, you demonstrate, come on somebody, dependence on God. Total, when you pray, amen, you forget about what the bill collectors say. Amen. You forget about what the IRS uh, agents say. You forget about what the judge say. You forget about the butcher, the baker, the cat. And you are totally lean and depend on God. And I come to tell you, he will not fail. Amen. He won't fail the Amen. The biblical command is to present your request to God. Amen. Philippians uh, 4 and 6. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. All right. The second one. Number two. We must honor the Bible. A lot of people might say I'm old-fashioned because I talk about the physical copy of the Bible. It carries significance when you honor something. Amen. I did never say it was anything wrong with apps because I'm a technician. I love gadgets. I love iPads. I like Apple uh, products. I got all kind of stuff. I am a certified technician. I repair them. I upgrade them. But there is nothing like your physical a, a, a copy of the Bible, the Word of God. He said, as a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. So the Word of God has information, instruction, example, amen, and promises uh, for New Testament believers. Amen. Read from the Bible. We should study every day. T study to show ourselves approved. A workman that needed not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of proof. Studying the Bible gives you power. That you don't have to lean and trust on other folks. But you can lean and depend on him for everything. Check everything against the truth of the word of God. Amen. Acts 27, 11. Amen. And there is a, a conflict between what the Bible says and what any uh, one else says. You know what you do? Go to the Bible. I don't know about you, but I will listen to what God, the Lord, says. Because every, by everything else is wrong, and God is right. The scripture said, let every man be a lie, but God, the truth. Do right at all times and in all situations. Do what you know is right. And leave the results. Amen. We're too busy trying to handle God's business. Leave the results with God. Uh, Joshua did right by saving the baby. I know you all remember that. Moses. That was Exodus 2, 1 through 10. Daniel did right by defying the king and praying to the Lord. David, amen, David, did right by standing up to Goliath, amen, the giant. And in each case, their dependence on God alone was richly rewarded. I, I want to tell you, when it comes to depending on God, you cannot lose. Amen. By a living sacrifice, Romans to 12, 12 and 1, when it says, present your bodies 
a living sacrifice. Amen. It says to offer up your body a living sacrifice. It says to God, acceptable sacrifices are purified, amen, from sin and dedicated, I like that, purified and dedicated to God, the Father. So when you become a living sacrifice, beloveds, you live for the Lord. You live for God. Amen. You 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 cease fighting for your own rights. And a lot of us we do too many pity parties. We too concerned about how folks talk about us. We too concerned about how uh 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 folks don't recognize us or how people don't respect us. But if they did it to a green tree, what do you think they'll do to a, a dry one? And when I speak of the green tree, I speak of Jesus and us, the dry. Amen. So we cease fighting for our own rights. Amen. And we need to give up, uh, amen, trusting in our own strength. As you learn to become, amen, a living sacrifice, that means that you have to give up something. And how many know that is obedience is better? Obedience is better than sacrifice. It's better to obey than to sacrifice for God. You will discover, amen, the truth that when I am weak, and I like this, then I am strong. When you are weak, that's when God makes you strong. Amen. I'm talking about depending on God and Him alone, not your uh, 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 situation. Don't depend on your situation. Don't depend on your circumstances. Don't depend on your bank account. Don't depend on your family. You got to depend because all of those things will pass away. Heaven and earth, he said, will pass away. But my word will never pass away. Amen. This Christian life is not a now and then, amen, rendition uh, with God. It is making God your dwelling place. God ought to be, he that dwell in the secret place of what the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Uh, so Jesus put it this way, remain in me as I also, in other words, remain or abide in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. Amen. I don't care how great you are, how well you sing, how well you preach, how you hoop. I don't care about none of that. It must remain in the vine. It must remain in the vine. Amen. I hope I'm saying something tonight. Neither can you bear fruit. Amen. Unless you remain in me. John 15 and 4. Depend on Christ. Amen. Okay. Depend on Christ. I want to make sure I don't skip now. Uh, as a fruit laden branch. A fruit laden. What do I mean? As one that bears fruit. Everything that we do, uh, Dr. Morgan, we need to bear some type of fruit. Amen. So we need to depend on Jesus as a fruit laden branch that depends on the grapevine. The branch attached to the vine is fulfilling its purpose. Amen. Refuse to worry. 
Amen. A lot of us worry too much. Worry brings about sickness. Worry brings about disease. Worry brings about stress. Stress kills. So uh, if you're going to worry, don't pray. And if you're going to pray, don't worry. God cares for all of his children even more than the grass that he clothes, amen, with flowers and with the birds uh, that he feeds daily. He cares about us. Yes, we have needs, but our Heavenly Father already knows. He knows what we need before we even ask. Matthew 6 and 37. Lean, learn to call all of your, amen, learn to cast all of your cares or anxiety on him. Why? Because he cares for you. Trust in the Lord. Lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thy way acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Amen. Keeping some of the anxiety on yourself uh, is to doubt God's care. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 one day, the disciples, they asked Jesus, who was the greatest? You all remember that script passage of scripture in the kingdom, amen, of heaven. Jesus answered what? He answered with an illustration, amen. He called a little child to him and, 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 and placed the little child amongst them. And he said, truly, I tell you, unless you change and become as little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of a child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So we all nothing but children. Amen. At our righteousness, we are as filthy rags. Amen. Matthew 18 and 24. One quality of a child is that they are dependent on others. They're dependent on their mother, on their fathers, on their teachers, on those of authority. But we as Christians, we don't depend on God like we ought to depend on him. And that's the reason the song said, Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. It's all because we don't carry everything. Everything to God in prayer. So God's children, beloved, should share that quality of depending, amen, on their loving heavenly Father for everything. Amen. For everything that they need. Uh, by realizing the truth. That we already solely depend on God alone. Amen. Even the one that the fool said in his heart. There is no God. But I tell you soon as the fool get in trouble. He'll say what? Help me oh God. Without God we can do nothing. Everything. Amen. Exists. Amen. In the mind, in the imagination, amen, in the will of God, when we blink, amen, when we breathe, when we eat, or even when we think. It is God moving the molecules uh, of our bodies and generating, amen, the electromagnetic signals and collapsing wave functions in our brains to allow us to exist. Amen. 
It is God who even moves our bowels. Amen. When we have to go to the restroom. Amen. And he does it because he loves us. God is the matrix of the universe. He is gravity and uh, he is electromagnetism and the strong and weak forces. Amen. He is behind all of these forces, all of them, across the universe. Nobody and nothing exists on their own. You cannot exist without God. No man is an island. God is the only one that exists, amen, on his own, and he holds everything else together. God knows our every thought as he allows uh, them to exist. He knows every event, amen, in the universe. Amen. He knows every event, including every uh, subatomic uh, reaction going on inside of every star in the universe. He knows that. And the, and, 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 and the propagation of every uh, photon, amen, as he is the one who causes them. God is the one who causes these things to transpire in our universe. He is the one who planned them and wills these things to happen. Amen. God is even, amen, in control of our moods. When we're sad, he makes us glad. Amen. Uh, God is sovereign, but nobody else he is sovereign but God. By once, uh, we realize the God, once we realize that God is a sovereign God, that he is in control. And that's what a lot of us, we so big, we don't realize that God is in control rather than you and I. Then we understand that we already, amen, depend on him for everything. There is no, you can look high, you can look low, you can look up in the mountain, down in the valley. There is nobody like Jesus. Amen. God is just so good that he continues to love us. He continues to bless us even when we don't deserve it. He continues to provide for us even when we don't realize he providing, yet God is providing, supplying our every need. Amen. God is just that good. And, and, and God is on our side. Amen. So we thank you for tuning in. And we want you to understand that you can depend on God. I know a lot of times I have had situations when certain people in my life, they transpired and they left this world. When my mother passed in 1994, I did not understand how I could make it, how I could do it without mama. When my we lost pastors, uh, when people moved away, uh, 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 when we have to make drastic changes and we don't understand uh, how we can depend on anyone else. I, I come to serve notice that regardless 
uh, come what may, whatever is going on, look to the hills from which cometh your help. All of your help comes from God. Trust him and never doubt him. He will surely bring you out. We can depend on him and him alone. A lot of Christians uh, feel that they need to put on a face and pretend a lot of times everything is all right. We got a lot of pretenders. That a lot of times when, when we're going through, when, when we been through something, we are experiencing something, amen, when we're suffering through something, we put on a face. And, and that's what it means, amen, to have strong faith, amen, to be going through a crisis. And, and yet, I, I, I'm reminded when Jesus uh, was on the cross, and uh, everything that they did to him, they whooped him, they beat him, they spit on him, they pierced him inside. But he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Amen. But that's a thing that uh, a lot of us can't do. We can and we should show, amen, our weaknesses to God. And watch this. Remember what Jesus said? For one minute, for one split minute, as he hung out there between heaven and hell, as he hung out there between two thieves, as he hung out there from the sixth to the ninth hour, he said, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? For a split second, God somewhat questioned the, his dependability on God. But I want to let you know, you can depend on him, amen, just as Jesus out there on the cross, depend on him, amen. Second Corinthians, and we closing. 12 in mind tells us that it is and it is in our weakness. And we all get weak. Amen. God is strong. He makes us strong when we are weak. Amen. When we feel like giving up, up that's when he gives us that extra push. Amen. Uh, uh, that Paul talked about when he said, I press towards the mark of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Put on the whole armor that we might be able to stand in this last and evil day. So when we pray, beloveds, when we pray, we should be honest and true to ourselves and with God about what we are feeling and what we are struggling with. Why? Because it's when we show our weakness that we will find God's strength. Amen. And how many know that he'll pick you up when you fall? But the songwriter said, we fall down. <clears throat> But we get up. And we all sinners, but just some of us are saved by grace. That's what he said. A saint is just a sinner who fell down. But he didn't stay down, Sister Linda, Franklin Black. He got up. And he got up, and you can get up. Because he depended, amen, on God. So whatever you do in this life, depend on God. Trust in him. Never doubt him. And I want to let you know he will bring you out. Thank you for tuning in to the Hope Covenant Kingdom Fellowship Family of Churches Hour of Empowerment. 
We come to you every Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. I am Bishop Michael Body. I'm so glad to have you uh, with us on tonight. I ask you to do me a favor and to like, share, and tag this hour, amen, with your friends, family, with your uh, 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 church members, with, <laughs> with uh, uh, your children, amen. Amen. Share this hour. And if uh, you're not able to, you are not able or available to watch this hour uh, immediately after, this hour will be available on our YouTube channel, Bishop Michael D. Body. We want to thank you for tuning in and for sharing with us. We're looking for you next Tuesday at 7 o'clock. PM. I love each and every one of you, and there's nothing that you can do about it. Amen. I enjoyed you tonight. I enjoyed the Lord tonight. God is just so merciful. So we praise Him. We praise Him. Can we just praise him a minute? As we prepare to leave this place, Father, we thank you for those that shared with us. We thank you for using us to stand in the gap tonight and allow you to speak through and to us. Father, we ask that you will bless the, the ears of the receiver that they might hear because you said he didn't have an ear. Let them hear. So Father, we thank you for each and every one of them that you would bless on tonight. We thank you for the visitation of your Holy Spirit. We thank you for touching somebody. We thank you, Father, for this hour. We thank you because you are good. And we realize, Father, that we don't have to depend on nobody. All we have to do is trust in you and never doubt you. And so, Father, tonight, we come to let you know that we depend on you. And you alone. Because you can do anything but fail. Now, Father, as we attempt to leave this place, Father, we ask that you protect us and shield us against all hurt, harm, and danger. We curse Satan on every hand. We bind up every one of his assignments. We cuss it at the root. And we ask that you would dismiss us from this place, but never from your presence. May the grace of our Lord sweet communion of his Holy Spirit. Rest, rule, and abide with these your people henceforth, now and forever. And all the people of God said, Amen. And your mercy Mercy and your mercy.